This is one of my favorite questions so far. And I love it because there's so many different ways you can go with this. So while you are producing, um, while producing, do I need to take into account the current market trends and expectations of customer? And is it a good idea to take a questionnaire of 15 to 20 audience members before producing a film um, so that I can get what they expect and make the movie as per audience expectations? So point number one, you don't want them to tell the story for you. you. The best movies I've seen are the ones that are go beyond my expectations. If you cater to the audience and what you're making, then they're going to be bored because they're, they're anticipating it. And so um, that would be not for that. But I get what she's saying about um, marketing and uh, creating, knowing that there is an audience there and market trends. And so in terms of trends, a good example of something that worked 20 years ago was South Park in, 2000, in the late 90s form. And they've had to shift the way they do things because society has shifted in 20 years. And what they created 20 years ago is not acceptable at least right now in our day and age, and um, comedy has changed, uh, political sensibilities have changed, and um, and uh, yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna go in talking about that. But so yeah, yeah, you might want to check in on on where you're putting the movie. Are you screening it in China? They have, they're a big film market that have completely like not completely different, but they have some parameters that are different than what you do for an American audience. And um, if we really want to go there, if you go to the American film market where people from all over the world come in to buy uh, material, you know, productions in the can for their television stations in Italy and Spain and, you know, Germany, and there are certain people who are stars in Germany that are not stars in America anymore at all, you know, and so... These are all things that you might want to consider. Oh, I'm going to cast that guy because I can um, get him for a lower fee for my movie. But And I know that I'm going to be selling to the German market and they're going to love it. But America is not a market for them so I can get him at a lower rate. And we're getting into the real complicated specifics about producing that for a short film most people don't have to worry about. If you are thinking about selling, what you might want to do, or maybe you're making a short in order to get a feel for whether there's a pull for a feature to be made or a web series to be made. If that's the case, then rather than survey an audience beforehand, you might want to get in touch with uh, production companies that seem relevant to the movie or, or web series or whatever that you're making. So if um, you're making a, I guess I'll go back to, kind of South Parky. Well, if, if you're familiar with Troma, Troma makes these low budget, kind of horror, kind of spoofy horror um, movies. And if you're making something like that, maybe you want to get in touch with them. Or if you're making a really sappy, lovey, you know, heartwarming love story, it's a Christmas story, maybe you want to get in contact with the production company that works with Hallmark or Hallmark Productions and all that. And, and you want to say, hey, this is this is where I'm going with this movie, and um, do you think that there's an audience for that? Because eventually maybe you're going to circle back and sell to them. And this happens more with features, so I don't think it's necessary on a short film, but uh, if you're thinking about that, maybe you want to try and get in contact with them, because eventually you're going to be selling to them if that's the kind of movies that you make, and it's good to touch base anyway. But you're really just doing your market research. Is it worth putting in the time and the money and finding the actors and all that stuff? If, if there's no market there. I think she's thinking a little bit bigger than short film, but there is short film distribution, so find those distributors and find out what they're looking for and then make those movies. So I think that answered her question. Now going back into the, the time to really survey an audience is when, um, you know, when the big production companies make their movies like Warner Brothers they do test screenings and they find out how people are 
are feeling and resonating with the ending and the characters and did they understand the storyline and that's really when it once your movie's made then you're checking in with the audience because you can always go back and you know maybe shoot a few scenes if the if the audience isn't liking the ending again for a short film which is really not something that you do that if you're selling it they're selling tickets to the movies they're selling to distributors so that's you know why they do that market research if you're just an artist being like i'm making this for the film festivals yeah it has to appeal to the film festivals and be a movie that they think their audiences are going to like but for the most part you don't have to worry about market research you're just doing the best movie that you can make and making it make sense and all that so you don't really need to do that but if you're thinking more about selling then yeah you might want to do some research both in pre-production but with the distribution companies and then with the audience once your film is made.